27-year-old Terrence Williams has just started a new job at a pizza hut in Bonita Springs, Florida. On Sunday, January 11th, the Naples resident takes his newly bought vintage Cadillac to an after-work employee party, even though he does not have a license to drive. The next morning, Terrence isn't home, and nobody knows where he is. After only a few weeks on the job at Pizza Hut, Terrence seems to be getting along well with his new co-workers. He has been invited to a work party later that night in Bonita Springs, but first, Terrence needs to go back to Naples to change clothes. I picked him up from work, took him back to his house. The last thing he said to me was, bye, Mama. I'll see you later. Once inside his house, Terrence tries to convince his roommate to accompany him to the party. He egged me on just a little bit. Chang said, oh, come on, you know, you can come with me, this, this, and that. And I just had to say, no, no, no. Without a ride, Terrence decides to take a risk by driving himself to Benita Springs in his unregistered Cadillac. He says, all right, see you later. A short time later, Jason receives a worrisome call from Terrence, who has pulled over at a shopping center to use a payphone. He says, oh, man, all I see is a bunch of cops around. Although Terrence usually maintains composure, his roommate senses fear in his friend's voice. Maybe Terrence regrets taking out the car. He goes, I'm just talking to you right now just so that I can see what's going on and, you know, maybe wait him out. After a few minutes, he says, okay, I'm going to go. I said, all right, have a good night. And that was it. I've always taught Terrence, wherever you are, you call somebody and you let them know what's going on. A few minutes after hanging up with Terrence, Jason places his phone next to the TV and heads off to bed. The next morning when Jason wakes up, he finds his roommate has not come home. At first, Jason isn't worried. He has this, this rule that uh, if he's gone for a couple days, don't worry about it, because he might be staying at someone's house. That Monday morning, Jason checks his voicemail to see if Terrence has called. I had a couple missed calls from a number I didn't recognize at 4 in the morning. So I called those numbers back. The woman who answers says she is one of Terrence's co-workers from Pizza Hut. She distinctly remembers seeing him leave the party alone sometime between 5 and 6 a.m. Maybe Terrence had called Jason wanting a ride home. I wish that I left my cell phone on my nightstand like I always did. That night, I just so happened to forget it on the entertainment center. 